These weird products have amassed over 100 million views on YouTube, but which one is best? Oh, what? Excuse me, I ordered the large mac and cheese? I don't know, man, I'd say that's pretty large. Okay, but I wanted a larger portion, not larger noodles. That's confusing, dude. Excuse me, I ordered the large mac and cheese? Yeah, right? Can I get an extra large? Oh. Thanks. They might not be good for eating, but your fingers will feast on the mac and squeeze fidget toy. You might wonder, what are they for? We have ideas. Stretch them, squish them, wear them, stack them, fling them, really stretch them, or just get people talking. So I suppose you could say that I embezzled millions of dollars, but uh, any questions? We only have questions about the macaroni. Oh, thank God. Have you ever seen sand do this? That's because this isn't exactly sand. It's a special compound that lets you build, stretch, smash, and repeat. The unique 3D molds help you make structures with magnificent detail so you can marvel at every unique design. I created a sand city. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I'm gonna need to see a permit for that or we gotta tear this whole place down. Who are you? What are hey, you doing? Listen, I told you, bud. You call that a Cheeto hack? Check this out. Spoon hack. Watch this. Foot hack. Butler hack. Yo, Cheeto, sir. Mind control hack. Mutate your hand to grow extra fingers hack. Or you guys could just use a snack dude. Or... RAIN HACK! If I can't guess the content of this stress ball, I'll have to eat whatever's inside. Sounds like little mahjong tiles, or like dominoes. Large Lego people heads. Oh no, you wouldn't. Okay, we have a bunch of stuff shaped like this, and they're all foul and gross tasting. You wouldn't give me the lobster hard candy, or is it mac and cheese hard candy? But if this was the lobster hard candy, this whole place would smell. I'm gonna guess lobster hard candy. Oh God. Ugh. Ugh. No! This is the fried chicken hard candy. It's one of the grossest things we sell. So first, the sweetness is there. Ugh. Could you handle a Jenga game with electric shocks? It's called Shazam! Use the electrified tweezers to pick up pieces and place them on top. But just because you get randomly shocked doesn't mean the game stops. The game keeps shocking you at different intervals until a zap makes the tower tumble. They even made it possible to turn up the shock level for an extreme game. How can I help you, sir? Yes, I'll have a short and fat spud style mutilated with a... Uh, no hat. Actually, with a hat. Um, okay, uh, just one second. Hey, uh, this guy out front ordered a short and fat spud style. Oh yeah, uh, what kind of face did he make? Uh, it was kind of like... Okay, uh, hat free or... Hat, I think. Okay, yeah, so short and fat refers to the shape of the mug. Spud style means a Mr. Potato Head mug specifically with a facial expression. Mutilated means they want it blended with the Moo Mixer. And with a hat means with his little hat on. Thanks. Okay, sir, here's your Mr. Potato Head mug coffee, and that'll be $19. Okay, the person behind me said they were gonna pay for mine. I guess it's like one of those pay it forward things. Thanks. I didn't realize that's how that works. Yeah, he just stole that. I'm Gabe, and I'm a human stress ball. People love giving me a squeeze. But with the new HR policy, only above the neck touching is allowed. Of course, with everything going on, I've been working a ton of overtime. I'm even working on my breaks. And with the office expanding, I need all the help I can get. So I 3D scanned, and I analyzed, and eventually I printed my own face to send around the world. Now everyone can relieve their stress. So now I can take a much needed... Vacation. I have to get out of here. Only 20 presents. <laughs> I couldn't even count mine. Oh, and I see you have a clown. We were going to get Cirque du Soleil, but decided to settle for David Blaine instead. What's this? Soda with dancing gummies? Mommy! Daddy! I need a new birthday right now! Make your drinks more fun with bobbin beads. Sweet gummy orbs that dance inside your bubbly beverage. With delicious peach and strawberry flavors, they complement a classy flute of champagne or make a soda just that much more fun. 
Oh, oh, David Blaine, let me down! Here's seven amazing pens you probably haven't heard of before. This pen's ink is actually metal. The markings may look like pencil, but it doesn't erase like pencil. These are Japanese wiggly pens. They wiggle while you write. This is the seven year pen. Its jumbo ink cartridge has enough ink to draw a line from the bottom of the Willis Tower all the way to the top and back down again four times. This pen farts and boxes. I don't hate it. This pen's ink can disappear with fire. Take that, nature. This Swiss Army pen has a nail file, a knife, scissors, and it can write underwater. The paint retouching pen isn't for writing, but for touching up any painted surface with ease. Is this a room full of melted icy cups? Yeah, <laughs> take a look around. This is where I keep all my melted ices. I'm aging them. Why are you doing this? It's my strange addiction. I'm trying to turn all these ices into soda. Oh, don't touch that one. That one is full of ants. <laughs> There's a real big queen in there. Why don't you just buy icy soda from Vat19? What's a Vat19? It's an online store. What? Why is the floor so sticky? It's hard to move. You're in there good. Yeah, that happened to my fermentation partner. A few years ago, anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like one of them's become sentient. This happens from time to time. It's okay, I got this. Oh! It's made it mad! Get out of here! If I could pick just one stress ball, I'd pick two. The DNA in beadball duo perfectly balances delightfully squishy and satisfyingly crunchy while you enjoy both sensations together. And because they can't intermix, you can adjust your stress relief to your needs. If only all great things combined so perfectly. Finally, I can combine my two favorite foods. I'm glad to get a beehive out of this tree so that I can make my own honey hive thinking putty because guess what, Bat19? You're not gonna trick me into buying your cute little bee charm filled putty when I can do it myself for free. <laughs> See, why would I buy something when mother nature would give me a honey hive for free? <laughs> it's DIY time. <laughs> See, so easy that you don't feel so smart now, do you? that 19. I mean, it feels just like the real thing. Oh no, this makes sense. I am so allergic to bees. <laughs> like and subscribe. Did you know that chopsticks were actually invented by cavemen? How do you avoid the mess of eating with your hands? By eating with someone else's hands. Handy Chops are a silly set of chopsticks that make every dish a meal you can eat with your hands. There's something weird inside of this gummy bear. Let's melt it down and find out what it is. Why does this have a skull? One hot coffee? <sighs> Ugh, this is just hot coffee. Okay, uh, very sorry about that. I'll be right back. Uh, hey, I think I messed up another order. What was it? It's a hot coffee. And let me guess, you just gave him a hot coffee? Well, that was their order. Okay, a hot coffee is actually a coffee with a special type of hot sauce. Here. Here you go. Thanks. Okay, sir. Here's one hot coffee. Thank you. That'll be $10. You can just put it on my tab. Padidiot stew. Thanks. You called just stupid idiot. And we don't have tabs. Add a dab of spice to any drink with hot sauce for beverages. A deliciously piquant condiment. You'll never solve this puzzle. Wait. What? The Impossible's puzzle is a jigsaw with no edges and five decoy pieces that don't even fit in the puzzle. Is this some kind of sick joke? Although the puzzle's maddening, once you start... Oh, these actually go together. <laughs> you won't want to stop. Dad, you're gonna miss my game. It's me or the puzzle, David. 
It's a three bedroom, two bath, and it comes with this guy working on this puzzle. I've got Park Place! Did you see that, Bernie? Did you see it? <laughs> Get the Impossibles puzzle at vat19.com. Guys, quit eating my football. What? That's my stepdad's chocolate football, okay? It was autographed by the yellow M&M. Now it's ruined. Family, I'm home. If you need me, I'll be in my study. Oh, crap. He's gonna notice it's missing. What are we gonna do? Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear your conundrum. I happen to have this chocolate football right here, signed by all of the famous candy mascots in the world. Awesome! Whoa. Zipes the zebra from Fruit Stripes Gum? I thought he was in jail. Lord Licorice from Candyland? Mike and Ike? Purple Nerd? Mr. Jelly Belly? Baby Ruth? How'd you get all these signatures? Quick update, I'm walking into the study now. You better get going, kid. Thanks. But what's your name, mister? My name? It's Wonka. Willy Wonka. I have to guess what's inside this stress ball, or I have to eat it. Just by like shaking it, I can tell it doesn't fill the balloon. It's got like a kind of grainy feel to it, very chunky. Oh, that's like a hard part. Magic balloon ball, tell me what's inside. Is it the, the, the Jack Daniels whiskey pecans? It was bacon! It was bacon on the go. I'm actually so happy that I got it wrong. Breakfast. <laughs> Hey, I think I found something better than your fart ninja. But my fart ninja farts every time you walk by it. It's awesome. Yeah, well, check this guy out. Is that a samurai? <laughs> it's a little samurai. A what? Just watch. Oh, what was that? It just peed itself a little bit. Every time you walk by it, it pees itself. Not a lot, just a little bit. Watch, that loot again. Oh, come on, man. On my desk. You're a bad friend. I'm just gonna stick with my fart ninja. Get fart ninjas at Bat 19.